I was just wondering how you're going to be, you know, at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Are you prepared? I'm prepared. I'm all right. I'm all right with it. And how? I'm all right with it, but like I said, remember and tell, let them know that I know that the cops knew who I was after Richard Mallory died. I left prints everywhere and they covered it up and let me kill the rest of those guys to turn me into a serial killer. I know they did because I was no professional serial killer or anything, or murderer or whatever you want to call it, you know. It wasn't special at so, what I was doing. Eileen, how, I did how, some sloppy work, you know, and I left How prints. have you prepared yourself for tomorrow morning? How, I'm all right with it. Hey, I'm ready to go. Hey, I was tortured at BCI. They had, they had the intercom on in the room, and they kept lying that it wasn't on, and they were using sonic pressure on my head since 1997. Sonic and pressure. And every time I was trying to write something, I, they, and I, I think they had some kind of eye in the cell, I'm not sure, but every time I started writing something, it went up higher. So I'm thinking that probably had the TV rigged. The TV or the mirror or something was rigged. They got a huge satellite on the compound. After they put the huge satellite on the compound, it could have been either rigged to the TV set or the mirror or something. Because the electrician, when he put the mirror on the wall, he said, doesn't that look like a computer? The back of it, and he stuck it to the wall. And do you think, what, did that affect your mind, do you think? Huh? Did that affect your mind in some way, the sonic? It was crushing my head, and they were using sonic pressure continually. Then when I had three meetings with Miss Villacorta on it, every meeting I had, she increased the pressure of the volume of the calm, increased the harassment on the floor, increased the uh, trays being inedible, just increased every bit of my complaints and trashed all grievances. They were trying to make it look like I was crazy at all times, rig up the room with torture. If I said anything about their whole, I think their whole plan was to try to make it look like I was totally crazy. And so nobody would believe anything I had to say about anything. And then drive me there if they could. I suffered so bad. I was really struggling to survive. Had a lot of trays that were attempted murder and everything. I had to wash all my food off. Then, then one day I didn't wash my food off and I was sick for three weeks, almost died. But you're okay now. I'm okay. I'm okay. God is going to be there. Jesus Christ is going to be there. All the angels and everything. And, you know, whatever, whatever's on the beyond, I think it's going to be more like Star Trek beaming me up into a space vehicle, man. Then I move on, recolonize to another planet or whatever. But it's whatever's the beyond, I know it's going to be good because I didn't do anything as wrong as they said. I did the right thing. And I saved a lot of people's butts from getting hurt and raped and killed, too. So are you saying that you killed in self-defense or in, in cold blood? What do you, what do you, because you, you've changed your story. I'm just trying to What are you start talking about? Change story on what? No, about whether it was self-defense or not. I'm not going to say, it, you know, I'm not going to get in depth about my cases, Nick. I'm on my way to the chamber, nothing's stopping it. You can believe it or you don't have to believe it. That's up to you, man. Put a big question mark on your film. What more is there to say about the cops? <laughs> what, what more do you want to say about the cops? A lot of stuff. Did you know that they were surveilling me before I killed? And then I knew it? And that it was covered up? Did you know there was helicopters dropping down from the sky? Deputy Sheriff with decoys picking me up four or five months before my arrest? It was covered up? But nonetheless, nobody ever asked me these the questions. Whether the cops were following you or not, Eileen. Oh, whether the cops were following me okay. or not, Eileen. Okay, what? Let's say, let's say the cops were following you. Yeah. Let's say they were following uh -huh. you and they did everything that you're, you're saying they did. Uh huh. Nonetheless, yeah. you killed seven men. Yes, you did. And I'm asking you, what got you to kill the seven and men? And I'm telling you because the cops let me keep killing them, Nick. Don't yeah, you not, get it? Not everybody is killing seven people. So there must have been something in you that was getting you to oh, do you that. Oh, you are lost, Nick. So I was a hitchhiking hooker. Right. Running into trouble. I'd shoot, shoot the guy if I ran into trouble. Physical trouble. The cops knew it. When the physical trouble came along, let, him, let her clean the streets. 
And then we'll pull her in. But That's how come why. there was so much physical trouble? It just it, because it was all in one year. Seven people in one oh, year. Oh well. Oh well. But why not say no? Because I'm out of retaliation for taking my life like this and getting rich off it all these years in, in total pathological lying. Yeah, thanks a lot. I lost my fucking life because of it. Couldn't even get a fair trial. Couldn't even get a fair investigation or nothing. Couldn't even have my appeals right. You sabotaged my ass, society, and the cops, and the system. A raped woman got executed. It was used for books and movies and shit. Bladder climbs, re-election, everything else. I got a big finger in all your faces, thanks a lot. You're inhuman, you're an inhumane bunch of fucking living bastards and bitches, and you're gonna get your asses nuked in the end. And pretty soon it's coming. 2019, a rock's supposed to hit you anyhow, you're all gonna get nuked. You don't take fucking human life like this and just sabotage and rip it apart like Jesus on the cross and say thanks a lot for all the fucking money I made off of you. And not care about a human being and the truth being told. Now I know what Jesus was going through. They've been trying to tell the truth. And I keep getting it stepped on. Concerned about if I was raped, if I... I'm not giving you mu book and movie info. I'm giving you info for investigations and stuff, and that's it. We're going to have to cut this interview, Nick. I'm not going to go into any more detail. I'm leaving. I'm glad. Thanks a lot, society, for railroading my ass. Okay, let's go. It was really pretty incredible that Eileen had just sailed through the psychiatric test the day before. It makes you wonder what you'd have to do to fail 